after doing an incredible amount of research on all of the different framing options available to us, there's no doubt left in our minds that steel framing is the right decision for our tiny house. Today we're here at FrameCAD learning more about steel framing and also checking out the drawings for our tiny house design. G'day hey, Kyle, how's, how's you it going mate? Good, and yourself? Yeah, good thanks. My name's Kyle Dickinson and um, I'm New Zealand Framing Manager. When someone first approaches FrameCAD to, to build a house, we can help them out with the original design through to architectural plans up to a point where we can get the framings, as we call it, stood, strap and wrapped. One of the good benefits of steel, for instance, is the consistency. Steel that you run today or tomorrow or next month is always going to be the same. Um, whereas timber you get a few inconsistencies, now not knocking timber at all, steel is just an alternative. It's lighter, it's one third the weight of timber, it doesn't warp, it doesn't rot, it doesn't twist. Um, all of the common things that you would expect from steel. Let's have a look through. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Safety first. Part of, part of what FrameCAD does um, is also the, the bracketry and fasteners. Um, all the other inventory that's, that's needed for framing. This portion of the factory is dedicated to New Zealand framing. So you can see on the other side there is our New Zealand framing machine. That's where all the frames are produced. Um, and this, as you can see, the guys are assembling some framing. So from here it gets loaded onto our trailer and delivered straight to site. As you can see here, this is a framing machine. So we've got our coils of steel which are fed in. The initial part is where all the services are done, so all the punching, the, the notching, um, all the service holes, everything is put in the, in the initial stage. And the rest of the machine folds it into the C section, which is what you're familiar with with the end product. As you can see, it's all controlled by um, the FrameCAD software. The printer prints the number on the individual framing item, so it's easy for the boys, again, like the Meccano set, the boys just grab it out, put it all together, screw it in place, and it's ready to go out the door. Well, uh, first of all, steel is a great environmental choice because it is recyclable. Also, the health benefits from an environmental side of things is it's endorsed by the Asthma Foundation. It doesn't give off nasty chemicals. Um, even though um, steel framing is thought to have a higher cost and impact on the environment when it's being produced, the fact that it is recyclable and it can be used over and over again, that far outweighs the um, initial impact on the environment and the cost to produce it. On the screen you can obviously see the, the wall that's being produced now. Um, you'll see the highlighted members are the pieces that are being produced now. So the guys that are operating the machine and that are assembly can always look back and refer to that. So it makes the, the process a lot simpler. It's, it's, it's very easy, it's foolproof. So Fantastic. Part of what we spoke about is it's, it's really lightweight, like a frame like this is very easy for one person to carry around and move around. Oh yeah. Um, now. Yeah, so that's that is it. Super lightweight. So yeah. I mean, for the for the size of that section, yeah, that's really good. And I mean, it's it's also it's also dead straight. Um, like like I've mentioned a few times, it's 0.5 of a millimeter accuracy. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a huge benefit for people on site. Not only for the tiny houses with the, the weight on trailers, but also for buildings in general. Guys handling it, it's 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 really helpful. So in the context of our tiny house, yeah. Right now we're only at the, the planning phase, obviously, yeah. where we've got the design and the FrameCAD software. Yeah. Are we already able to calculate the weight that the frame's going to be? Yeah, yeah, you can calculate it down to nearest, nearest kil kilogram. Roughly one linear meter of the steel that we use equates to uh, one kg. It, it's slightly off of that, um, but that, that's a rough rule of thumb that we work on, is one linear meter equals one, one kilogram. Right. So we try to incorporate those so that they can actually stiffen up those walls. Right. And turn the washer around like that. This screws to the stud. And we'll, we'll get some proper tech screws to screw through the timber into the C section of the of the trailer. <laughs> Big boys Lego. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mubarak Ahmed Minhas. So I'm working as a detailer designer for the light gauge uh, steel structure in FrameCAD for the last uh, I, I'm using this sort of for last 10 years around the globe, so many buildings I have designed. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. And uh, when you first saw the tiny house project, what did you think of it? Oh, yes. Very exciting project. It's very innovative. 
in terms of the detailing and the designing, it has some challenges, but it's interesting. It's quite interesting. You have to be very conscious about the measurements because you have to space your all the frames within some limits because the space is very small and we don't have to have a lattice joist or web joist on there, 300 deep. So we are limited with the roof panel, floor panel. To strengthen this one, I make a back-to-back -back in 400 centers. And it should be structurally sound. The second thing is because once we transport, we have to be very stable structure. In that point, what we normally have placed, so many K braces. So these bracing elements is restraining whole of the structure is to move. Also, when we have a cladding on top of it, that also act as a bracing element okay. to strengthen and rigid the whole structure. The great part about steel framing is everything is CAD based. So we can look at a window, look at a door, alter bits and pieces, make sure you're 100% happy before we send it to the machine to produce. But um, even if there are changes after we've produced it, it's, it's pretty easy to change. From a timing point of view, once we've actually produced all the framing out of a machine and it's, it's assembled, ready to be erected, um, it's probably going to take around about two or three hours. Um, and most of that time is going to be spent just getting the connections right um, on this tiny house, making sure everything works well. Um, so it's, it's a very efficient system. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's down to 0.5 of a millimeter accuracy. So um, once it's drawn in the, in the CAD system, it'll fit together really easy. Like you said earlier, like a big boys Meccano set. Our tiny house drawings have now all been loaded into FrameCAD software. Our trailer has been moved here to FrameCAD and everything is set for us to start framing. Make sure you catch our next video where you'll see our tiny house truly start to take shape.